Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Another day, another Z590 board. Today we're checking out the MSI MAG Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. And as usual with all of our motherboard content, this video is not a review. Let's get right into it. As usual with these motherboard videos, and I know I keep saying this, this video is not a review. It's just an overview so you can get an idea of what's physically on the board and what comes in the box when you buy a new board. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, ladies and gents, it's time to check out the MSI MAG Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. But first off, we're gonna do what we always do and get that motherboard out of the box so we can take a bit of a closer look at all of the things that come with this brand new Z590 motherboard. First off the bat, we've got this little black box with a bunch of stuff in it, and we've got the Wi-Fi antennas for the built-in Wi-Fi on this motherboard. MSI has again shown us that they are willing to get rid of optical discs and give us USB sticks for drivers for basically all of these new motherboards. That's good to see. Next up is a bunch of SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There's also a set of three standoffs and screws for the three M.2 slots that are on this motherboard. There's a stack of documentation we're quickly going to run through. This is a shout out thing of how to enter to win something if you review something I guess. There's a sheet of stickers that you can place on your motherboard. There's actually little outlines on the board where you can put these if you want to customize them on the top of the I.O. cover. There's also this little pamphlet that shows some of MSI's latest products if you're into that kind of thing. There's also this little join the MSI rewards program now card. The QR codes have no information other than just a link to a website. There's also this, thank you for choosing MSI. This product was created with great passion. We hope you can enjoy it. There's the quick installation guide, which basically shows you how to socket a CPU. Pretty handy if you've never built before, but also a good little refresher if you have built lots of times. And last of all, there is the user guide. Now this will show you where everything is on the board, where everything plugs in and some little BIOS changes you can make as well. But it wouldn't be an MSI motherboard without one of these. These overpowered stickers that go on your case. You know the drill. 16 billion frames per second, 16K, Fortnite, ray tracing, let's go. Anyway, let's uh, slide it out nice and slow so we can take a bit of a closer look at the MSI MAG Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. First up, there is a front panel audio connector, then there's a 3-pin 5-volt addressable RGB header and a 12-volt 4-pin analog RGB header. There's two PWM fan connectors. There's also a Thunderbolt header which will require an add-in card to use. There's additional PCIe power for the PCIe slots. There's two USB 2.0 headers for liquid coolers and RGB controls and that kind of stuff. There's two SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSD drives. There's also the front panel connectors for your lights and your switches and another PWM fan connector towards the end. Along the right hand edge of the board, there is another PWM fan connector, four more SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSD drives. And if we go up a little bit, you'll see that there's a front panel USB type C header. Next to that is a USB 3.0 header. There's a 24 pin power connector to send all the juice to your brand new board. There's an LED postcode array that'll I'll let you know if anything's wrong with your PC and two more PWM fan connectors. Across the top of the board, there's another three pin five volt addressable RGB RGB header, another 12 volt analog RGB header, and there's also a big chunky heatsink for the VRM, which we're going to talk about in a moment. There's an additional PWM fan connector in there too, a 4 pin EPS power connector, and an additional 8 pin EPS power connector as well. Now, for PCIe slots, we've got the top PCIe slot, which is a by 16 Gen 4 slot, then there's a Gen 3 by 1 slot then a Gen 3 by 4 slot and another by 1 slot towards the bottom of the board. This board does indeed feature Intel's brand new Z590 chipset which supports the new 11th gen Intel desktop processors, otherwise known as Rocket Lake. This board will also support 10th gen Intel CPUs as well. As far as the VRM layout, this board features a 14 plus 2 plus 1 digital VRM setup with 60 amp power stages. The I.O. cover on this board is basically a giant heatsink. It's all connected. 
And there's also an additional heatsink at the top of the board for cooling as well. Because this board is a Z590 board, it features Intel's LGA1200 socket, which supports 11th gen Intel CPUs and 10th gen CPUs as well. It's also got standard Intel cooler mounting as well. If we flip the board over, you can see that there's not a lot going on here. There's also that standard AMD Crossfire logo that some people got very upset about, which is also pretty normal for MSI boards to have. The Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi also has four DDR4 RAM slots, which support a total of 128 gigs of memory at 5333 megahertz overclocked. All right, let's take off the heat sinks off the M.2 slot so we can talk about how these are actually configured. The top M.2 slot is wired directly into the CPU, making it PCIe Gen 4. The lower two are PCIe Gen 3 M.2 slots and also SATA as well. As usual, there are labels for what is compatible with each of these slots. And this is the bottom slot and shows that it's PCIe compatible as well as SATA compatible as well. For rear I.O., we've got a DisplayPort 1.4 connector as well as an HDMI 2.0 connector, a BIOS flashback button. There's some USB 2.0 ports for your mouse and your keyboard. There's some USB 3.2 ports. There's USB Type-C. There's the now standard 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. There is antenna connectors for the built-in Wi-Fi 6. And there's 7.1 digital surround sound with optical and SPDIF output. But you know what time it is? Cinematic mode. Let's do it. Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the first look and overview of the MSI MAG Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Now, this board is looking to be on the cheaper end of all the Z590 boards that we've checked out, because if you're interested in pricing, I, I actually found the pricing. They're going for around 239 US dollars, or around 300 Australian dollars when this board launches which we still have no idea about yet. So if you're looking for a, I'm not gonna say budget because 239 US dollars isn't really budget, but if you're looking for a cheaper option for the new 11th gen Rocket Lake CPUs, this is looking like it's going to be pretty good. And as history dictates, from all the Tomahawk boards that we've ever used, uh, the Tomahawk boards for MSI have always been the best value and some of the best performing boards that they make too. So cheaper doesn't always mean worse. Sometimes it just means it's cheaper and that's basically it. Anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music that's available over on Patreon. If you wanna get early access to videos just like this one right here, float plane. All right, ladies and gents, once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And I'm a big fan of the Tomahawk boards in general. Uh, obviously, I haven't had a chance to use this one yet, but we will be building with it because we've got it. So stay tuned for that. Still don't know anything about that stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.